today's episode, some people stand behind some mesh. Everybody calls every single one of their hits. And we meet some of the friendliest players we've ever played with. Yo dudes, today we're at Dog Tag Airsoft. In this game mode, it's a simple two-stage attack and defend game. The enemies have to push up and in one of these blue barrels is a bomb. They have to retrieve the bomb and then push up to the village. Once we get taken out in the field, we have to fall back to the village for our final stand. The enemies only have one point of attack into the field, as the boundaries are extremely strict at this site. This makes quite a stale start for the game, as most of the enemy team don't just want to run out into an open field, while our team surround it from all angles. The enemies make sporadic pushes, but there's about 40 people on our team just waiting for anyone to pick the corner. And as you can see, it doesn't go too well for the enemies. The vegetation's super thick here, and as the enemies push around further and further to the left, I need to make a better clearing so I can still get line of sight on the enemies. start to congregate behind the mesh. Their previous failed attempts have disheartened them, and they don't want to push any further out. At this point, someone on our team shoots a tag round and takes out the entire enemy team in one go.
This is one of the most unlucky streaks of shots I've ever had, so I thought I'd leave the whole thing in, just so you can share the frustration with me. enemies now made their way back from respawn, and we go back to the same kind of stalemate gameplay as before. enemies manage to push up the right side, and this creates enough of a distraction for some of our teammates have to change their point of fire. The enemies then make a hard push across the field, suppressing our positions. I decide to take cover and try and hold out as long as I can. The enemies have pushed the field hard now, and they're clearing out the last few of our defenders, as you can see here in Sim's perspective. The enemies have now completely overrun the field, and there's no way I can stop them completing their objective on my own. Right. 
I see the enemies filtering off towards the village now. They've retrieved the bomb from the barrels, and there's now no reason for them to be in this field, as their objective isn't here anymore. I decide not to take risky shots through the foliage, as I don't want them to know that I'm behind them. I wait it out until the enemies are filtered out of the field, then I can use this route for my own advantage. Seems like the enemies have moved on now, so I use this opportunity to make my move. After I get taken out, I head back for my life in the village. I set up to watch a track that the enemies are likely to use to push up. teammate on my left gets taken out. This is an early warning sign that the enemies are on their way.
Sorry, man. Even though I'm way within the playing area, and the boundaries for this map are marked with black and yellow tape, these guys call me out of bounds and continue playing. So I don't have much choice other than to take their word for it. <laughs> 